Hello everybody, today we're going to be going over how to install the AMD proprietary drivers in Ubuntu. The reason I'm doing this is because I am currently running two uh, AMD cards in Crossfire and I can't get the open source drivers configured to do that properly. Um, for any of you who do also have Crossfire cards or even multiple graphics cards, you know the live, C live CD and live USB will not work when you boot up. So in order to run off the live CD and install the OS, I would recommend just unplugging one of them, installing the OS, completely shutting down, and installing the graphics card. Rebooting, and then when you reboot, you can't just boot into Ubuntu. Normally you would need to go to advanced options, um, repair mode, or whatever the heck they call it. Um, when you're in there, go to fail safe, graphics mode, hit enter hit enter again for yes click around until you see your mouse on the next screen click OK and then if you intend on installing the proprietary drivers you would then go to just for one session and then click OK the screens will go a bunch of different crazy shifty shades and don't worry about that when it got to uh, the green and orange shade on mine I hit enter because it was there for a while and then it went to a black and blue screen and then it went to this uh, the Ubuntu login screen and then I am here I am here if you want to determine what kind of graphics cards you are running simply run the command LS PCI and then put the vertical bar thingy grep VGA so that you know it'll only tell you the graphics card so I am currently running excuse me two Radeon R9 270X cards um, the first thing we're gonna do now to install the driver is we're going to go to amd.com and we're going to go to drivers and support now if you're running Ubuntu 13.04 I would recommend just doing the latest stable version because the build package for that is uh, built for 13.04 if you're using 13.10 I would recommend using the latest Linux beta driver and that's what I have here so I am going to be installing the latest beta driver. Now the first thing you're going to need to make sure is that your card is supported by this driver. Mine is right here. If You could just look down through here. Most of the cards after the 5000 5, series I believe are supported so they're all good. And right here it'll tell you the versions of Ubuntu that this is built or made for. Um, the the current stable version is for 12.4.2 and then 13.04 so if you're running either one of those I'd recommend using the, the latest stable version of the driver. So I'm going to download the driver and I'll be right back when it's done. Alright now that I've downloaded the driver what we need to do here is just extract it and if you want to do that in the terminal it's just unzip and then that file and it'll unzip it to right here all the same as it just did right there so now we just need to update a few things before we use the automated installer and what we're going to need to do is just sudo apt get update enter your sudo password and spell update right that usually helps spell update okay so let that run and then when you're done with sudo apt get update we're going to be running sudo apt get dist upgrade so we're going to upgrade the distribution upgrade everything in it so sudo apt get dist upgrade run that I've already run it so it's not going to take too long for you that'll probably take a couple minutes um, the next thing we're going to have to do is download all of the packages that the uh, installer is dependent on um, so I'm just going to go over these really quickly they will be uh, in the description as well sudo apt-get install and then we're going to install the Linux headers generic build essential cdbs fake root dh make deb helper deb configure deb deb conf uh, library standard c++ 6 dkms um, libqtgui4 I don't know what that is uh, I probably said it wrong wget exec, exec stack libelf 
G0, I don't know what that is, and then DH mod aliases. I apologize if I pronounced some of those wrong. Hit enter, and since I've already done this, it's going to be like, hey, it's already the newest version. So, um, for you, that might take a little bit longer. So now, what we need to do is change directories to the downloads folder. And now we're in the downloads folder, hit ls, and it'll show you that we have the zip file and the run file. And in order to make this run file executable, we can do one of two things. This is the newer way. You just go to properties, permissions, and then allow f executing files a program. But since we're already using the terminal, I'm just going to change the mode. So you do chmod, so change mode. Plus x will be just fine for this. And then you can cheat like I do here and just run AMD driver installer. Whoops. AMD driver installer, copy, and then paste. Run that. Now you hit ls again, and now you'll see it's green showing that's executable. So you just sudo, and then to run it, you hit dot backslash, and then the file name. Paste. Run. Today we're going to be generating a distribution specific package. Read over, yeah, bullshit, don't even read that. Um, build packages, and then we're going to read this, or wait for this to finish up. It's going to take a little bit of time. Yeah, this takes some time, and we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting. And you know what, I'm just going to come back. So now the Catalyst Control Center has finished installing, and if you want to view the build log, all it is, it says successfully generated. So I'll just click exit here, and you can click ls, and now you see these Debian packages in your downloads folder. And what you're going to do is type the command sudo dpkg-i-i star.deb and we're going to wait for this to go and once this finishes we're almost done there might be a complication we'll see no original module okay so looks like it's going to run without any errors okay so that wasn't so bad um, if you do get an error you would type sudo app apt get install dash f and that'll install any of the packages and dependencies that were not installed when it first ran so what we need to do now sudo not apt sudo ati config dash dash initial ati config and if you're running crossfire you need to do adapter Okay, spelled that right? Yeah, adapter equals all, and then dash dash initial. Enter. Found FGLRX primary device, so it found both of my devices, and at this point, you would just need to reboot. Alright, so here we are after a full reboot, and as you actually I'm just going to show you um, just type in AMD Catalyst Control Center it shows up um, I'm just going to launch it from the terminal though so you can see um, the command to launch it sudo amdcccle I don't know what the heck that even means but that's the Catalyst Control Center and here we are welcome to the beautiful Linux Catalyst Control Center um, first thing we need to do just click apply yes and it's we need to reboot for any of those to become used um... Let's see crossfire diagnostics everything looks decent there display options okay catalyst control center is detected you just need to hit apply and after you're done with that you just need to reboot again Alright, I have now rebooted a second time, and I'm going to go ahead and launch the Catalyst Control Center again. If you want to make any sort of changes in the Catalyst Control Center, you need to launch it as, as an administrator, which you can also do from the launcher here. 
Um, you just need to click AMD Catalyst Control Administrative. Um, so here we are. It has my Crossfire set up. Also, or my Crossfire set up. Um, it's currently disabled, but I don't. You guys can't see this, but I currently have a uh, underscanning problem or an overscan. So I'm just going to adjust that. Apply. And now uh, Crossfire looks like it's disabled. But now we have a fully functional Catalyst Control Center. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like or subscribe. Um, please comment with any questions you have. I'll try to help. I'm, I'm not a genius, but if I could help, I would like to. Thanks, guys. Have a nice day.